So the question you guys are all asking is, did I quit or did I not? I'll tell you next. Hello, Mike Yates here, big man in the woods, and I'm here in this vlog to help you deliver skills for life. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, I posted a vlog all about me quitting scouts for having a terrible time, and I've had lots of comments, positive comments, asking me, uh, did I quit, did I not? Please don't give up scouting. You're amazing. You're an inspiration or a role model. It was great and big, big, big things up. That really helped me uh, rethink about my career in the scouting journey. Let's keep this vlog really quick, a really sweet, straight to the point. Did I quit scouting? Obvious answer straight was no, I didn't. I did what I always do, take my own advice. I admit I had a really bad night at scouting that night. Scouts weren't listening. All the things that we've all been through as a scout leader, if we've been doing it for some time. You put some prep into it, scouts don't listen, beavers, cubs, whatever section you're doing, and it's all disheartened. So if you haven't seen it, watch the vlog. I'll put the link up up here. One of these uh, is, has, has the link to that vlog. If you haven't seen it, watch that video and then come back to this vlog and you'll understand what this vlog is all about. So how did I break that little down burnout rant? Well, as I said last time, I had a good sleep, I had a cup of tea, and I never make rash decisions on an empty stomach. So I had some dinner, woke up in the morning, and that week I just took scouting off. I didn't do any anything about scouting, just spoke to a few guys, read all these really positive messages that you guys posted on YouTube. So once again, big things up. And it got me rethinking about why did I join Scouts 13 years ago? Why did I sign up to be a Scout leader? Why did I join the Scouting movement? So for that week, rethought about those, those reasons. And I also looked back at the experiences that Scouting has given me and the experiences I've given the young people all because of Scouting. I've done some amazing, amazing things. Uh, and I know you guys have even done even more better things than I have done, you know, exhibitions, hikes and stuff like that, which is going to be in my bucket list to do this year. But the, my personal experiences that I've done, um, uh, all kind of personal stuff, aren't they? The, the, what I think might be cool, you might be different. So just looking back over what you've done, what you've achieved in, in your role as a scout leader or section assistant or behind the scenes at a scout group. There's all these different roles and we all play a really important part of delivering, delivering skills for life for our young people in the scouting movement. So I thought about that and then I thought, why, why am I a scout leader? What, what do I achieve from it? What do I get out of it? And as well as um, passing on the skills for life to the young people, teaching them new skills, new experiences, new memories, good things, funny things, all that kind of stuff. I get a lot out of it as a as a adult, uh, not as a leader, but as an adult, I get amazing experiences, memories, make some amazing friendships, real true friendships. Um, and that's why I realized I need scouts. I need scouting personally. Um, my wife, when I spoke to her, she reminded me about why I enjoy Scouts. Why do I go back every Thursday? Why do I do all these courses and teach Skills for Life? Why do I make these vlogs and blogs all about Scouting? It just kind of sunk in that I needed Scouts and I really needed it in my in my life. I get a lot out of it. It's, it's a real hard thing to explain, isn't it, to a non-Scout person what do I get out of it? My wife still doesn't understand. My family don't understand why I like to take 20 kids into the woods for a wet weekend like this here in London. Um, come back completely knackered. But it's great, isn't it? We get that buzz from it. And as a scout leader, you can understand from down here in, my, in your heart that buzz you get from it when you see a, a young person who is too scared to do something or has never done something for the first time. And with some encouragement, boom, they're abseiling. Or, you know, um, I remember I got a Christmas card from my parent this Christmas and they said, thank you very much, Mark. Um, you've helped my son learn some skills for life, such as making a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich. Now I might think that's, that's nothing, that's an everyday skill, but who taught me that skill as making a decent cup of tea? Because we know as scout leader, we need a good, good cup of tea and not overcooking the bacon 
So when he goes to uni, he'll make a decent cup of tea for his friends, and he'll know that he'll be able to make a, a bacon sandwich, and his, and his dad will be pleased. And it's that kind of random things that you don't always think about, you know? And, you know, I've been in situations where there's kids that have been booted out from school, they've not been given those opportunities, and as a, as a scout leader, I give them those opportunities. I give them uh, skills that they won't do in, in school, or if they didn't have any clubs after school. And, and it's that kind of reason why I love being scouts. Um, so if you are going through that down, downward spiral, take some time off, take a week off, take two weeks off, speak to people, uh, both in scouting and the non-scouting, and realize why, why do you, what do you get out of scouting? What is the purpose? You, not the young person, you. What do you get out of scouting? And that's what helped me get out of that little rut um, those few weeks ago. So in this vlog, if you are having trouble, reach out to me, email me, comment below, and I'll speak to you. Uh, I don't want you quitting. Young people don't want you quitting. Nobody wants you quitting scouts if you're going for a rut. Hashtag never give up, as Bear says. But at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, maybe it's time just to step back because scouting is all about having fun, isn't it? Thank you very much, guys, for watching this vlog, and I hope you now found the answer. I haven't quit scouts. And once again, thank you very much for all these positive comments. It was, it was great to remind me why I love being scouts. Check out this vlog here if you want some more tips and tricks about delivering skills for life. And don't forget, look back at the vlog about why I quit scouts and see how down I was and how positive I am now. Till next time, guys, thanks very much. Happy camping. Big Man in the Woods, signing out. Pew.